Yo, what's good YouTube? It's YBC and I am back bringing another video and this video I am going to be bringing to you guys my moments of the week number 10 predictions in NBA 2k20 my team before we hop into it and everything, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys go on ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. I do try my best to upload my team videos every single day. And also, if you guys can do me a real quick favor and drop a like on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Let's see if we can get that like goal up to 550 likes on this video. I also do want to give a quick shout out to Corrupted2k for making these moments cards. A link to their Twitter will be the first link down below in the description. Make sure you guys go show some love to them because they made all of these fire cards that I will show you guys in this video. So this is now our third moment of the week prediction video that we have made and usually when I start off with these videos I like to take a look back at the previous ones that we have made to see how many we got correct out of the ones out of the moments cards that 2k officially dropped in the game. Last week in week number nine, the five that we got correct were Diamond Spencer Dinwiddie, Diamond Kyle Lowry, Ruby Jordan Clarkson, Amethyst Dennis Schroeder, and a Diamond Jason Tatum. Those were the five out of the nine players that came out last week that we predicted correctly in the moments of the week, week number nine predictions video. Now, when it comes to this week's moments of the week number 10 predictions, hopefully we can get more than five out of nine correct, even though five out of nine was really, really good from last week. With that being said, for this week's moments of the week number 10, to be completely honest with you guys, there weren't really any crazy statistical performances like, you know, 45 plus point games. So I'm just letting you guys know that because when I name out the cards and the stats, it may not it may not seem like a lot, but over the course of last week, what I will name you guys and the stats from these cards is actually really, really good for the last week. Now let's go on ahead and start talking about this collection, first and foremost, with the collection reward. I think this week, for the moment of the week number 10, we're going to be getting another token reward of 100 tokens. And I think that because, like I said, there weren't really any crazy, crazy statistical performances because back when we got Pink Diamond Zach Levine and Pink Diamond Damian Lillard as our collector rewards, I felt like those two cards, those two players, when they played, dropped like nearly 50-point games and clutch game-winning shots. We don't really have any 50-point game-winning shots in this Moments of the Week prediction video because there really weren't any over the last week. So now without further ado, I'm now going to be showing you guys some background gameplay as I'm now going to be talking about the potential players in the moments of the week number 10 set. And to start it off guys, I think that we're going to be getting some sort of version of Joe Ingles. More specific, I do think that we are going to be getting a Ruby Joe Ingles. If we do get a Ruby Joe Ingles, he will definitely be a budget beast. And I think we're going to be getting a Joe Ingles card because over the course of the last week, Joe Ingles has been balling. He has been averaging nearly 25 points per game, 5 rebounds, and 5 assists over the last week, and, and has been a big part in Utah Jazz' recent success. The Utah Jazz in their last 10 games are 8-2, and two, and part of that is because of the way Joe Ingles has been playing and balling on the court. Obviously, I know it's a team effort, but Joe Ingles' stats has been sticking out over the course of the last week week and a half with that being said they also beat the clippers last night and we all know how good the clippers are and the clippers were fully healthy with Kawhi and paul george so i think we're going to be getting some type of budget beast of a joe Ingles on monday for the moments of the week number 10 now moving on to the second player who i think will be dropping in in the moments of the week number 10 set and that is a ruby damian lee as you guys probably know, I am a Warriors fan, and this season has been a terrible season. Not really a fun season to enjoy or watch as a Warriors fan, because we're like one of the worst teams in the NBA. But Damian Lee for the Golden State Warriors over the course of the last week has been balling, and I love watching him play. Over the course of the last week, Damian Lee has been averaging nearly 20 points and putting up over 10 rebounds a game in the NBA. Damian Lee, I believe, signed like a 45-day contract with the Golden State Warriors, and that contract is almost up. I really, really hope that the Warriors re-sign Damian Lee for the rest of this year and next year, because like I said, he has been balling. And honestly, nearly 20 points and over 10 rebounds for a guy who honestly no one really heard of definitely deserves a moments card in 2K. Now, moving on to the third player who I think we'll be getting a moments card of, and I do think we're going to be getting some sort of version of Tyler Hero. When it comes to the card tier, I think we're going to be getting an Amethyst version of Tyler Hero, and that is because we already got a Ruby Tyler Hero in one of the first moments of the week sets, 
Tyler Hero was an evolution card that turned from, I believe, Sapphire to Ruby. So if Tyler Hero does get another Moments card, it should be in the form of an Amethyst because as you guys know, 2K always goes up on the card tiers. They never go back down and they rarely duplicate cards. So with that being said, like I said, we should be seeing an Amethyst Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero over the course of last week honestly didn't have the craziest statistical performances. He only averaged about 13 points, but that is not the reason why he is going to be getting an Amethyst Moments card. The reason why he's going to be getting an Amethyst Moments card is because if you guys saw it, you guys know what happened. I'll leave it at that. So in case you guys did not see the game, I will explain what happened. The score was 104 to 106. Miami Heat playing at Philadelphia 76ers. 76ers up by two with like 12 seconds left to go in a game. Jimmy Butler gets a steal, outlet, outlets it up to Tyler Hero. Tyler Hero has a wide open mid-range shot on the fast break. But you know what Tyler Hero does? He snatches it back 4-3 and hits the game go-ahead bucket. Ultimately, the game went into overtime, but Tyler Hero had one of the clutchest shots in the NBA season so far to this day. Personally, I think that it is the most clutch shot any person has taken in the NBA to this day. With that being said, 2K also does love giving players my team cards who have clutch performances. And like I said, with that clutch performance, we should be getting a moments card of Tyler Hero on Monday. Now, moving on to player number four, who should be having a moments card in my team on Monday? And that guy is named Kyle Kuzma. In my opinion, Kyle Kuzma deserves an Amethyst card, and that is because of the fact that he had probably one of the best Christmas Day performances. Out of nowhere, Kyle Kuzma just came in the game off the bench, just started racking up them points and racking up them shots. He ultimately finished off the Christmas game with a total of 27 minutes of playing time and 25 points and 4 rebounds. He shot an 8-17 from the field, and he was a big part in the Clippers nearly beating the Lakers because, excuse me, the Lakers beating the Clippers. Because aside from LeBron James and Anthony Davis, no one was really making shots for the Lakers against the Clippers, but Kyle Kuzma came in off the bench and like I said, just started chucking and making everything he took. In the first quarter, I believe he had like 18 points or something like that. Maybe in the first half, he had like 18 points. He had a crazy first half. So Kyle Kuzma definitely deserves either a Ruby or Amethyst card. I think he'll be getting an Amethyst card because he's a fan favorite player. Now on to the fifth card who we should be getting on Monday, and I think we should be getting a Diamond Shea Gillius Alexander. We already have an Amethyst version of Shea Gillius Alexander. He was one of the first ever cards, ever the, one of the first ever moments of the week cards that came out in my team this year. So if he does get another card, which I think he will, he should be getting in the form of a Diamond. I do think that he'll be getting a card on Monday because alongside with the rest of the players who I've named in this video, he has been balling over the course of the last week. He is averaging around 28 points per game, and within the last week, he did play up against the Los Angeles Clippers. As you guys know, Shea Gillis Alexander used to play for the Los Angeles Clippers, and in that game against the Clippers, he did drop a career-high 32 total points against the Los Angeles Clippers. That was kind of like a statement game for Shea Gillis Alexander, so I'm very, very glad that he went off against his old team, and I think that he is going to be getting a diamond card um, on Monday for that reason. I believe that we are now on prediction number six in this video. And for prediction number six, I do think that we should be getting some form of a moment of the week, Julius Randle, tomorrow on Monday in my team. We should be getting a diamond version of Julius Randle. And that is because over the course of last week, he probably had the best numbers out of anybody who I've named so far in this video. Over the course of the last week, Julius Randle averaged over 30 points and 10 rebounds. The New York Knicks also finished off this week with a positive record. They did go 2-1 and one in the three games that they have played in the past week. And like I said, Julius Randle had a crazy statistical performance. So he was a big part in the Knicks winning two games and only losing one over the course of the last week. Now moving on to card number seven, who we should be seeing on Monday. And I think we should be seeing some sort of version of Dante Exum, probably a Sapphire or Ruby version. I know what you guys are probably wondering, why BC? Why on earth should we be getting a Dante Exum card if he never plays in the NBA and never really records any stats? I do think that because he did get traded in the last week from the Utah Jazz to the Cleveland Cavaliers. And like I said in the beginning, there weren't really any crazy, crazy statistical performances to name off for you guys. So Dante Exum was kind of like a big, uh, kind of like a name branded guy. Same thing with Jordan Clarkson, who did get traded in the last week. And Jordan Clarkson, 
got a moments card last week. Not sure if it's because he got traded. Pretty sure he had a good game, but still, guys. Because Jordan Clarkson got a moments card and the trade went down, like, when he got the moments card, I think we should be getting some sort of Dante Exum card, probably a Ruby in my team. For those budget ballers out there, you guys should be excited for a Dante Exum card because Dante Exum, I believe, is standing in at six foot five, and he plays the point guard position, and he has one of the best base jump shots in the game. So if we get a Ruby Dante Exum, he is going to be a budget beast. Now moving on to the eighth card who we potentially could see on Monday. We potentially could see a pink diamond D'Angelo Russell card in my team. When the Warriors did play up against the Dallas Mavericks, D'Angelo Russell literally kept the Warriors in the game until he got a little bit banged up. He hurt his shoulder later in the game and that is when the Dallas Mavericks went on a run and blew the Warriors out by 20 points. But when D'Angelo Russell was in, he was literally backpacking the Warriors. He dropped 30 first half points and he was shooting threes from like hall of fame limitless range so if 2k gives us a d'angelo russell card for that insane first half performance he will definitely have hall of fame range extender because like i said the man was shooting threes from like 30 plus feet behind the arc now moving on to the ninth and final player who i think will be getting a moments card on monday and that is ursan Ilyasova should be getting a ruby version of Ersan Ilyasova and that is because in the two games that Giannis was out Ersan Ilyasova dropped 18 points and 17 rebounds and for the second game that Giannis was out he dropped 17 points and 14 rebounds and the Milwaukee Bucks won both of those games. Ersan Ilyasova should have a very very high rebounding attribute as well as three point attribute because like I said he had 14 and 17 rebounding games and 2k also gives Ertan Eliasova cards really really good three ball because he is a stretch big man so for those of you guys on a budget this Ertan Eliasova if he gets a ruby card it's probably going to be your next big man purchase on your squad so yeah guys that right there is the nine players who I think will be getting a moments card on Monday and with that being said that pretty much wraps up this video so in case you guys did miss out on any of the players who I named off in this video, I will repeat them out to you guys. We should be getting, in my opinion, a moments card of Shea Gillies Alexander, D'Angelo Russell, Tyler Hero, Joe Ingles, Kyle Kuzma, Julius Randle, Dante Exum, Ersan Ilyasova, and Damian Lee. Those are the nine players who I think will be dropping tomorrow in my team. Now, like I put in the beginning of the video, let me know down below in the comment section which moments of the week card do you want to see in my team on Monday. You guys know me. I always love reading and responding to the comment section. Now, that right there is pretty much going to do it and conclude this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you guys did, make sure you guys go on ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button and also dropping a like would be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch all of you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. And as usual, and as always, it's YBC and I'm out. Peace.